Hello and welcome to Bristol Sport TV from Ashton Gates Sports Bar. In the next 10 minutes, we'll bring you all you need to know about this weekend's sporting action. Plus, we'll give you a latest look around the stadium and how the build is progressing. But first, we start with basketball. And it was a UK first this week as the BBL has partnered with Hawkeye Innovations and Webcast Sport to stream four games live throughout the month of January on SkySports.com. Last Friday, I travelled to London's Copper Box Arena to host their coverage of the BBL Trophy first round game between London Lions and Leicester Riders. And just before tip-off, I caught up with the BBL's commercial director, Bob Hope. Tonight we have uh, new technology on show. It's uh, a first in this country. Uh, we've tied up a partnership with Hawkeye, who people will know them from uh, their tennis. Wimbledon tennis is the ball in or out and they go for the Hawkeye but they have produced some smart production into TV production work for other sports. Tonight we're showcasing it. We have eight cameras being used tonight, but only two are manned. The rest are all remote. These four games are the trial, so that if we can find a sponsor, we can hopefully roll it out for the rest of the BBL season. If we can get the numbers, we will get the sponsorship. And these next four games, a lot costing BBL a penny. We will look forward to welcoming you to the SGS Wise Arena. I look forward to coming. Well, before we can welcome Bob to the SGS Wise Arena, there are three more games that will be streamed live on SkySports.com. This Sunday from the Barclay Card Arena, we'll see the BBL Cup final between Leicester Riders and Newcastle Eagles. Friday, January the 22nd, BBL League action continues. That's from the Worcester University Arena as the Wolves take on table-topping Newcastle. And then the very end of the month, Saturday the 30th, from the newly opened Leicester Arena, the Riders take on the Surrey Scorchers. To watch all of that action, simply click on the link that will be headlined on SkySports.com's front page for watching basketball live. Well, naturally, we can't talk about basketball without mentioning our very own Flyers team. And I'm pleased to say that joining me this week is Flyers forward Daniel Ladozzi. Yeah, thanks very much for coming in. I know you had a tough weekend at the weekend, didn't you? Travelling north up to Sheffield uh, with that game up there and then back to a packed sellout crowd at the SGS Wise Arena on Saturday night against Worcester. Oh, well, thank you for having me here. And um, yeah, we had, a, we had a very competitive game against Sheffield on Friday night. Um, the production individual wise just wasn't there like it, like it usually is every time we play or most of the times when we play. So. Well certainly nothing will uh, blow out the cobwebs like a double header over a weekend. <laughs> so you then came back from Sheffield late on Friday night, late Friday night. to then play Saturday Actually, night. Actually Saturday morning. <laughs> With early yeah. hours. Yeah. <laughs> so With many of you getting up to coach Saturday morning as well as then play Saturday evening. Um, that was the first round of the BBL Trophy. Like we'd seen, London Lions, they went down at home right. to Leicester. You guys went down at home, but mm. it pushed them to overtime. Yeah, it actually was a good game. Um, even though we had foul trouble in regulation, you know, we still found a way to pull through and, and take the game into overtime. I think we was actually down in the fourth quarter just by a few points, but then even though we had a few situations where a couple players fouled out, like Greg and, and Matias as well, um, it still, it still showed us that we're still capable of being a really good team. Basketball wasn't your first sport, if I'm correct in thinking. No, it actually wasn't. Well, so growing up here in London, uh, I was actually looking to play football. And then um, that's when I was here in London, but then I moved to the States. And I didn't think I actually had the, uh, the, the physical talent of being an athlete until you know middle school and you know i was actually starting to get the hang of playing sports and then that's when i realized that mm, maybe i should go into sports you know, maybe i should see what i could do with sports and see where it would take me later mm. on down the line in the future and it's given you a transatlantic career yeah exactly so hey can't get no much can't get no better than that <laughs> no 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 One, what better life to hope to travel playing sport that you love i can't let you go without touching on your former coach because uh, like you he has moved on from iowa state but uh, has taken on the chicago bulls yeah um you know, when I first met him, you know, I didn't know, I didn't exactly know who he was. And um, we went to a football game, we went to a, a tailgate party. And so we was riding around in a golf cart and uh, we was just, uh, I, I was just hearing what everybody was saying to him. Like, yeah, Fred Hoiberg, we love you, you know, we can't wait for this basketball season to start and stuff like that. So being around that was pretty, it's pretty interesting yeah. but yeah. what is interesting about those is it is the whole community coming together to support a collegiate almost game Thousands. it's incredible hundred thousand or so people packing into a stadium to support their local college team you know yeah. and of course what we're trying to do within bristol sport is to get people 
behind supporting their local team, be it Bristol City, be it Bristol Rugby, be it the Flyers? Well, how about I explain it like this? It's, it's the true definition of, of true fan spirit. You know, it's like, you know, with thousands of fans actually come out, coming out to celebrate a sport, um, like you said, that's what brings the community together. I think that's an excellent explanation of it. Uh, best of luck for Glasgow, and uh, then we'll see you back at SGS at the end of the month. Thanks very okay, much. Okay, thank you so much. And just a reminder, the Flyers' next home game at SGS Wise Arena is against Leeds Force on Saturday the 30th, tip-off at half past seven, and tickets are available now. Now on to football, and there wasn't a dry eye in the house on Tuesday evening as young Oscar Pycroft walked out for the very first time in front of Bristol City and Preston North End players. The youngster had been the game's mascot in his wheelchair the last time that the two teams met at Ashton Gate. But after City fans and supporters across the Bristol sporting community and beyond helped to raise more than £57,000, Oscar underwent life-changing surgery last summer. It's a story that has truly captured everyone's hearts and it was a fantastic evening to see him finally walk in front of his beloved city. Well, in the match, Preston scored first, albeit Neil through Gallagher. the helping hand of Nathan Baker as he that headed into his own goal, net. Almost instantly, though, Aaron Wilbraham restored parity with a deflected effort, Almost but it was City old boy Greg Cunningham who had the last laugh, heading home from a corner to secure all three points. That was despite a stoppage time header from Jonathan Codger, which crashed back from the post. Codger is now on 10 goals for the season after scoring in Saturday's two-all draw at West Brom and this week has been speaking for the first time about his move to City and life in Bristol. He began by discussing his goal tally to date. I'm uh, happy to have scored uh, that many goals this season, but uh, I think I could have scored more. I'm a bit disappointed at not scoring a bit more, but uh, I worked hard. I'm going to keep working hard with the help of my, my teammates and, uh, and the staff, and I hope to score a lot more the rest of the season. I don't have really a target in terms of goal. I don't want to put a bit of pressure on myself. But my main target is to perform, perform very well with the help of my teammates. And I know if I'm perform well, I score a lot of goals and we help the team to, to score goals. And don't forget, Saturday's home game against league leaders Middlesbrough has now sold out. But tickets are on general sale for that cup replay game against West Brom at Ashton Gate on Tuesday evening. Well, it's been a busy week for their female counterparts up at SGS Filton as the City women have announced three new signings this week, two from Chelsea and one from Everton. And it's certainly seen Willie Kirk's side taking shape ahead of the start of the season. Really, really good signings. I think the two Chelsea girls, uh, Millie and, and Jodie, really, really exciting. You know, they've come through a very good, good youth system at Chelsea. They're both from sort of Hampshire area. Uh, started off in your centre of excellence, but but they add so much to the team. Jodie, centre midfielder, just she sees passes that, that an average centre midfielder won't see. You know, she's top top player, good range of passing, uh, and Millie's just a natural goal scorer uh, without putting too much pressure on her. Uh, we expect her to be one of the leading scorers in the league this year. Megan, we, we were fortunate that we managed to get Megan training with us for a few months uh, at the tail end of the year after she moved back to Oxford from John Muir's University in Liverpool. So. She, she hasn't actually played for Everton, I think, since maybe September, but she's been training with us, so it's been great to get, you know, you get to know her before you even need to commit. Uh, and she's, yeah, she's a great girl. She's really excited about training full-time, and uh, she'll, she'll be another important asset to the team in, in that sort of left-hand side. Well, speaking of signings, Bristol Rugby has had five players commit their futures to the club as Andy Robinson starts to shape his squad beyond the end of the current campaign. Ross McMillan, Chris Brooker, Jack Tovey, Jack Wallace and Gavin Henson have all announced signing new deals this week. Oh, really pleased, you know, a little bit relieved as well. Um, just, yeah, just I was hoping it'd happen and um, so it's nice to get a year extension and yeah, keep it going. Hopefully we get a chance to play in the Premiership next year. You've really uh, become a fan's favourite quite swiftly. How have you found your time at Bristol so far? Oh, it's been amazing and yeah, the fans have been great towards me as well. Um, I can really feel their support when I play and... I just, you know, try and give it back to them by my performances and hopefully they can see I, I'm improving and, and hopefully my performance will keep getting better time the time we get to the playoffs. And finally, let's just bring you the latest news from the stadium rebuilders. Work continues apace. The West Stand can be seen to dominate the skyline pretty much from all over the city now. 
and uh, in the last week or so the rafters have been added to the front of the west stand roof certainly giving the skeleton its final shape both ends now of that new stand have also been put in place on the atio corner you can see the steel works outlining that end curve of the west stand whilst this week work has begun to tie in the seating deck of the south stand with that new west stand and this is really the first time that you start to see how the stadium will truly become interlinked with that horseshoe shape between the west stand the south stand and the dolman stand well just before we go let me tell you about something new for 2016 it is the big sports breakfast that we're launching the last friday of every month we'll see us welcome an inspirational speaker here to ashton gate lansdowne club members you get the very first event free and it is on friday january the 29th and we will be welcoming the world's greatest living explorer sir ranul fines here to Ashton Gate. It is also open to the public, but make sure you get your bookings in fast because it is sure to be a sellout. I look forward to seeing you here. All that's left for me to say is I hope you've enjoyed the programme and have a great weekend of Bristol Sport.